We obviously needed to make a, a lot of changes. It was no secret that there were so many players coming out of Korea that had insane talent. You know, we knew that we just had to make a big commitment to being a competitive team. And so we decided to go with a full Korean roster. Ah, 기가 막혀요. 왔을 때 저는 근데 한국인 왔을 때 원래 다른 팀으로 가려고 그랬는데 열심히 하고 싶어서 근데 용이 그냥 믿고 기다려라 그래서 아, 한번 소가 드림 그래 가지고 기다렸는데 we go out there and we spent like 2 weeks and I remember we were like having all these negotiations, you know, I was basically working from like 11 p.m. to 6 or 7 in the morning. Building that roster was a lot of stress, but a lot of fun at the same time. And uh, that was a very grueling off season. We had to make a lot of, you know, calls and, and make it happen. And, you know, credit to our organization, we managed to make it work. We did it. We, we managed to make it happen. You know, part of this was like we completely restaffed our coaching staff and we brought in Rush. When I talked to Young about making this happen, you know, I could tell this respect that he had for Rush. I felt like we could maybe make something really special happen. And that was to bring in Rush, who I admired a lot, his seasons and contenders, and also with his Paris Eternal success, and also the players that he could bring with him. At that time, there was a lot of contact with me. I was also a player, and the players that were in Element Mystic, I was able to get to the players together. I was able to get to the players together. I was able to get to the players together. 우리가 이제 못해도 이제 우승권을 목표로 할수 있다. 근데 완전 제가 옛날에 그 작년에 이제 엘미 선수들만 모으려고 했던 건 아니긴 한데 그게 모으다 보니까 그렇게 되기도 했기, 했기도 했고 예전처럼만 다시 잘 맞게 하면 어 그래도 우승을 할수 있겠다. 이제 좋은 팀으로 만들어서 성적 잘 내면 되지 않을까 해서 오는 거라 가면 저는 이제 기본은 이제 원래는 우승을 목표로 왔는데 And so we managed to sign a pretty incredible roster. My first impression of Rush was, um, I mean, he's all business. He's like one of the most stoic people I've ever met. He is like hyper-focused on his goals. I knew right then and there when I first got to meet him in person that we had the right coach. You know, I was like, oh, this guy is, you know, professional. He's, he's on top of it. And, you know, he had a really good mind for the game. But then I started to realize that the guy is hilarious. Oh, yeah. 제, 제가요? 네. 제가 재밌게 한 적이 없는데. 야, 웃기, 웃긴, 내가 웃긴가? 웃긴 거는 모르겠어. 제가 웃긴 적이 없는데. 어, 진짜? 아니, 그런 거 없는데. 제가 근데 무서운 사람 맞긴 해요. 네, 무서운 사람 맞아요. He's a little bit of a troll, he's funny, he's goofy, but at the same time, but he means business when it comes to, you know, competing and winning. Clearly someone who is going to make sure that this team was put in the best, best position to win. And uh, he hasn't changed. <laughs> It was like, here we go. Now, this is the Dallas Fury. Going into that first stage, right, that was a historic moment for us. The main melee, you know, we were one map differential away from not qualifying for that tournament. And I still remember that crazy just dominance that we had against San Francisco Shock, the two-time defending champions, and that's Houston, our biggest rivals. It wasn't even close, it was just a stomp. And we shell-shocked that whole tournament. It was madness. And the cycle of misery is finally broken. Today, those that burn blue burn brightest. The Dallas Fuel get it done. Lo and behold, we actually won the May Melee. It took us four seasons, but we won a tournament, and it was incredible. After all the stuff we'd been through, after all the like the tough times, we managed to beat the odds and, and go in and win. <laughs> it was such a crazy, almost a Cinderella story in the fact that like we had came from so many years of, you know, disappointment to winning. I mean, it was, as much as they like to joke, like cry baby Tasmo, I did not cry. But I will say this, it was very emotional for me because it's been like four years, right, uh, of, of playing and, uh, you know, winning that event in the way, in the fashion we did was amazing. And I'll never forget that. It was a huge moment and, and uh, I couldn't, I mean, yeah. Amazing. That May Melee was, was really important for our organization. And again, it, it really came at a time when we needed it more than ever. 
Oh yeah, I mean the rest of the season we kept going, right? I mean we kept we kept going to Hawaii. It was our second home. We were constantly going there competing at the very top. You know, first in the West, you know, always a threat, always kind of diversifying the meta, playing our strength. It was a really fun, exciting season. It was it was tough that we didn't end up winning the whole thing, but I was so proud of our team and to bring home a championship and you know finish in high placings throughout the year. Uh, meant the world to me and I know our fans. Although we were disappointed in the result because we really thought that was our, our championship season, overall, we were back on track and I think that's really what mattered. You could tell that this team is special and we were gonna build towards something great again. So after five years of the Dallas Fuel being in, in existence, the one thing that has remained constant has been our fan base and supporters' unwavering support. For that, I'm eternally thankful. We've had so many incredible people support this team. And even in the tough times, people were always there trying to outvoice the negative. Every team goes through the good and the bad in a competitive environment. And despite all that, you know, we always gave our 100% because we knew that when we go on stage, when we enter that lobby, you know, we are representing you, the fans. And even though the results weren't always there, you know, our, our effort was and our, our, our care and our, our love and our attention and everything was put into that team. And, you know, to be part of this family uh, was very special. You know, I didn't forget that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much that you guys keep following, keep cheering the team. I really appreciate it. It's, it means a lot. I'll never forget these memories that would not have been able to happen without them. So thank you. Thank you for always cheering for our team. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>so looking back uh, so looking back five years of fuel um but also even envy before then right um there's been some ups and downs like it's uh it's been quite the journey having the most success you could ever ask for with envy going to fuel with all the hype and you know really underperforming to what we needed in our standards competitively but still having such a great experience with the players and meeting so many wonderful people and wonderful people that have played for our roster and I can't thank them enough for, for all they've been a part of. I'll never forget the time that Dennis, um, you know, asked me to manage their team and I feel like, you know, he's given me that opportunity to work with that. Like he basically started my career up with Overwatch. And, you know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be managing it, someone else would be. And. Uh, I miss him. I wish he was still around because he was the embodiment of esports. His dream it was like any kid's dream to do that, and you know we're trying to live that out for him. And uh, you know, uh, hopefully, we did him proud with the the fuel and you know everything going on forward. I miss him every day, but also like you know, it's brought me close to so many wonderful people. You know, uh, you know, you got Mickey the the clown, you got XGC the, <laughs> the now he's this Twitch superstar, um, you got Taimu, you've got OG, No, uh, Unko, AKM, Trill, you know, I, 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 there's way too many names to name off, but Aero, you know, all these people, and then the new era with Rush and Sparkle and Doa and all these guys, like it's been a one hell of a ride, and. I would never change it for anything like it's you know even though like looking back sure like people always ask like hey would you you still picked up these players and it's like look we're not perfect and we've done a lot of hard work and then we're going to continue to do as best as we can every single season to make you guys proud and we wouldn't be here if you guys weren't here supporting us the whole way so i really do appreciate everyone i mean like this journey i mean it's five years but let's make it a six make it a seven make it an eight you know like this this whole league and this 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 whole game in esports and Overwatch League is, is fantastic and the community that's built is, is just something that's really special to me and uh, you know I 
there are so many great memories and I want to continue building them uh, in the future. So hopefully one of those memories is lifting up the trophy at the end of the year. But uh, every, every single one of you guys really means a lot to me and thank you guys for always supporting us and we will always keep fighting and uh, burn blue.